your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. Hello everybody and welcome back into our channel. This is Wolf Gaming here and so there's like a couple of things what I'm wanting just to go through very quickly. Um, first of all is that I wanting to apologise um, to each and every single one of you for our lack of uploads actually onto the channel. Um, we are so so sorry about that. Um, but things are actually changing on the channel um, just to make sure that we can try and keep up with all the necessary um, stuff what we need him to do um, so we are slowly working through that as best as possible so we are working on like a few um, different bits of series and stuff like that and it should be recording getting all the editing done on them um, but we will be uploading back up again as soon as possible um, so the, the other thing is we've actually got a new game and that which we're going to be placing onto the channel as a, a small series um, so if you do actually like um, the, the episodes and actually like the series um, please do give us a beautiful subscribe turn on the notification bell so then then that you can be notified when we upload our other content and also please do leave a comment down below and a thumbs up as well um, just to give us some ideas of what we can actually do on the gameplay um, so right now we're actually on project hospital now now this game has actually been around for the past um, few year um, we've actually had it on the computer now for about a year uh, so <laughs> we've not really done too much and that with it and um, besides just trying to figure out what's what and everything else on it um, so we've actually decided just to record and and actually do it this way um, So in the series we'll, we'll be going through some basic tips on how to set up certain things straight away and actually how to plan um, Certain things what you need in straight away um, And also any hints what we can kind of like give you during the season So let's go into a new game so I've actually been so I've kind of like done the first tutorials on the first campaign when I first got it and of course I didn't really do too much on that um, so we've actually got some bots with DLCs as well here so we can actually do whatever we wanting to do on this section um, then also scenarios and stuff like that but we're actually going to go into some bots so here we've got a 64 by 64 96 by 96 then of course we've then got our clinic small hospital 64 by 64 another 64 by 64 medium hospital a big hospital and another big hospital there but we're actually going to go into the empty field so we're actually opting in for the 96 by 96 we're not going to put on free building or unlock all departments we are going to keep on patients can die okay so we're going to start this up right now so what we're going to be initially doing on this is that we are going to try and make sure that things are working to the best as it can be um, I've also got a nice cup of coffee as well well this is actually loading up so it will take like a few moments for that to load up anyway so when it's all loaded up we'll be back with you okay so we have got a nice e6 by 96 nice area okay so we've got some basic trees street lamps a road coming both ways and patients will come from like down here and down here down at the bottom and of course we then got the ambulance bay here and the patient drop off area here if they're coming by ambulance <laughs> So what we're going to do first of all, we're actually going to zoom in, okay? Um, so we've got a really better idea of what's actually going on down here. So down at the bottom left, and um, we've got these little tabs here. So we've got emergency, okay? Um, we will go through all these here, so please don't worry about that. And we've got our radio, our radiology, um, uh, so like all your X-ray, CT scans, stuff like that we got our medical laboratories we've also got our intensive care unit general surgery department 
uh, internal medical department. We've also got our um, I can't really say that, but it's something to do with bones. Um, <laughs> we've got our cardiology. Uh, we've also got our neurology as well. We've also got our infection diseases. Okay, that is going to be very interesting to set that unit up um, to make sure that we've got all that sorted. So that will be getting done as soon as possible when we've actually got the financial and sellability within the game. We've also got the trauma um, place as well okay um, which is like you burn burn units okay and we've also got our administration department which is going to be like your service offices cafeteria pharmacy and etc and also we've got our pathology which is all your autopsies and stuff like that so that's actually quite a lot within this year but first of all we're actually going to go into our um, emergency area so up at the top left here we've got our game mode building our management mode and also our doctor mode and there is actually shortcuts for you to go around them and spacebar is actually to play and also pause which is great so what we're going to be doing is first we're not going to be going into our building mode but we are going over to our management mode the only reason why that we do management mode first on this is to really give a better idea of what your layout is actually going to be before you build and you can actually plan things in already so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down to our doctor's office okay and the doctor's office area I, I normally like doing it down down in this section here because it's a bit easier to deal with and what I normally tend to do is so I try and leave a two gap period so I always go into this corner here go up by two in the diagonal and then whip up over to the left here and this is where I put my first um, official GP room, or your doctor's room. Um, so I normally do it eight by eight, but actually you can do it with a four by four. I like to have a bit of a bigger room personally. I bought one there, oh, and then I place one there as well, but I don't do one there. Okay, here there's also another one here so this is all like the planning stage and i will actually explain what why i actually do this so your corridor here uh, you can designate corridors and that are for each department um so i've actually found placing other department corridors leading off it's it's a tad bit more easier but you can't start from down here and bring it up here because it would be then classed as two different corridors if you come up into the area of the corridor here and drag it down, okay, you can actually attach the corridors over quite nicely. So I'm actually going to buy a 10 there because I did come on by a 2 here. And here we've then got a doctor's office. So this is going to be again an 8x8. And just to prove that this is actually 8x8, you will see the little number showing up of 8x8. Um, there so technically we've actually got here it's two four six um some um, reasonably sized GP officers now what we are going to do is we're actually going to be adding just one more in okay on this side of the corridor here so we've actually got seven GP officers okay or doctors officers next what we do is is sticking with this three wide corridor okay just to make sure that there's enough room um really if you've got night like, stretches and stuff like that next what we're going to do is then we're going to go into a waiting room so each department needs a waiting room okay and it's got to be large enough to accommodate everything what you're needing to do so this is what i'm doing here so this here it's actually 8 by 17 that is perfectly fine 
but you also need then a restroom in each area so this is quite a lot to initially take on but it's perfectly fine so please don't worry and of course the toilets are actually a three by four here and then also a cleaning closet as well because you need to keep your hospital clean so i like to try and do a large-ish type cleaning um office there um, for this and back onto the corridor again and straight up to here and i'm going to go by a by a four by three because you need to start on the system corridor so like here that's going to be a three by one straight over to here which is then a three by eighteen okay don't forget this is just our planning stage this is okay um so please don't worry if it looks kind of bit bonkers um it's just how i like to do this and here we've actually then got a 12 by 12 reception so your reception area is where people actually come into um so like if you look at your local a &E's or your and your accident and emergencies at your hospitals you go into a reception you get checked in you go and sit down then you go off and see your doctors or whatever this is what this is practically okay and then here we've got a common room so we want you to then place a basic common room eight by eight with a door there um, just to allow for this to be done and then just to make sure we can just place a basic um like a little corridor here now this is set up here okay so what else can we do so i'm actually going to go over to our medical laboratories so on medical laboratories, okay, this is now gone dark. So if you click on the emergency, it will light it up again. And then the medical laboratories is here. So we can then actually place everything down, down to what we need. So how are we going to do this? Okay, is actually very, very simple. So we're actually going to place a basic um, common room there for this and department and then we're then going to then just start off with placing a new corridor okay each one of these corridors are actually going to be of a different color so here we're actually going to go down okay so let's go down by uh, nine by three we're then going to have our waiting room okay and um, this doesn't have to be a massive waiting room on this one a restroom okay just a basic three by three and i think the cleaning closet i think you can actually do a three by two anyway so that that only needs to be kind of like a small one anyway and then as we're like going on we just need to make sure that everything's all been expanded out so we need to get a um, ermatology lab so this is a fully equipped laboratory capable to produce or be fired blood and um, related tests and stuff like that um, so we're actually going to go up to the same height as this here so it's eight by five okay just to make sure that we've got that in we're then going to go on to the microbiology lab yeah, again eight by five and then we're going to go on to the astrology lab okay and it's then going to be at eight by five as well so we've actually got everything called plan day so how does this work initially when we look at this so we can have a door coming into this section here and keep this open here and we still got this section here um, sorted so they can actually get in both ways and um, very very easily and also round here so all this here is going to be kind of blocked off anyway so they've got to come round to the uh, waiting room here for the doctors and etc now for x-ray which is our radiology so our x-ray department is actually going to be um yet again very similar we're actually going to place here is a um a four by five uh let's actually go a six by five on this here and um, because of this being a free area up here to go up 
We're then going to place a corridor in. And this is then going to come from our reception area there. So our, our reception desk is going to be here. Seats are going to be up here. And then all this here is going to be open up for people to get in and out. Yet yeah, again, we do need a waiting room, but the waiting room needs to be placed ideally in the dead band middle of the area. So with this, we're actually going to go by a, let's go a six by 10. So it sits this way and 10 this way, long ways. Okay, it will bring it out a little bit, but that's okay, that's fine. Then we've then got a CAG, a CAG room. So our CAG room is going to be a five by 10, or you can do a 6x10. I'm going to stick to a 6x10 on that one. We then need in our CT room. So our CT room is going to be here, yet again at a 6x10. Now we need in a corridor to come along to here. Next is the waiting room, and we're going to be placing this next door to our common room, which is for the staff to go and do like the, the break stuff and things like that. Next is then a basic um, toilet area, a restroom, and then also then a very basic cleaning room. Yet again, quite a small one. I spanned out the corridor, yeah. So if you go too far, then actually delete it by this here. You will have to put the corridor back in again. This is why it's always best to do it bit by bit. And yet again, we're going to go by six by ten. We've got a, we've got a more central point of the waiting area to get down here. Uh, a a cardo um, a unit is actually only going to be like a small unit anyway. So we can actually do like a five by five area here, and then uh, a sonograph and unit can actually come here at 5x5 five five. then of course we then got the corridor here we have got everything what we need to have here but if you are wanting to you can actually just place another little waiting room another little rest, um, rest, uh, restroom area here I can't let me speak today and then just like a small cleaning closet area there so this is actually our plan for this here. So you will see that it will go light when you actually do this. So we're actually going to go back into our emergency by clicking emergency down here. And we're then actually going to build foundations. So what is actually going to be our major part of this here? Well, first of all, let's start with our x-ray area here. We need to have a toilet area for it to be open as a as a unit, our waiting area, our um, corridor, and then also our first X-ray. Next is actually for the emergency. So we need in for reception area open. We need in our corridor open ER. We need in our waiting room area ER. I've just gone a little bit further over. We need in a toilet, a cleaning closet, okay, and then also this corridor here. And then we also need in our first three GP areas here. Next, what we're needing to do here is our toilet area for a new um, department here. Okay, you will get dotted lines so that you can actually see where you're needing to go up to on this. Okay, we will need in our corridor for this department. Okay, and we need it to come down here just a little bit as well for the waiting area. And we're then also going to have a first blood unit, which is this here. So that is actually going to be our entire area. So we just spent 50,000 doing this. So it's a lot of money. But that's okay because we're going to take a small loan, okay, to do these first bits because we can get that money back quite quickly. This here 
with um, add um, perimeter walls around the foundations area and it's this first one here in the build mode click that and it will bring up all your walls around to lower it down you've got these sections here next door to the day one eight and these here right now it's on a four wall you've got your half walls and you've got your lower walls put it into lower walls okay Next what we're going to do is we're going to come over in our construction we're going to uh, construction and floors this first section here is actually our walls so here we're going to go with the top and bottom stripes with a white area and we're actually going to then opt in for like a pearl blue what we're then going to do is we're going to bring this up bring this round to here bring this to here bring this all the way down because we can actually put a door here and that quite easily we're going to keep a little bit here open for this and what these color rooms will do for us is to actually to make sure that we've got each part of the hospital actually color coded so such as GP areas like this here so like like your doctor rooms will go in one color your waiting areas will on the floor will be like a designated color and stuff like that next what we're going to do is we're going to click twice on these arrows down here for left and right so we can then go in and do these final little bits here okay bring this round to here bring this down to here bring this down to here we are going to do this bit of a wall here as well and we're then going to whip over to here so i want you to notice that you've got walls right you will get a like a little um point in there with mouses go over to the corner and drag it and you will see like little like pillars coming up and that is to indicate um the length of your walls and you will always see as well if you look on the car park bays here you will see like little black like, pole showing up as well that is perfectly fine for that so what we're now going to do is as well we're going to actually select a white towels and colored blind and what this is going to be for this is actually for our cleaning closet and including our toilets we're going to whip around by two sort these bits out here do all the walls okay and this is our first section kind of done here our next section what we want you to do is this section here okay this is going to be our blood area but we can we can do that that in a bit but i want you to do this section here first so we're going to go back down right into the two stripes we're then going to go with a dark blue on this one and we're actually going to bring it straight across like this straight up onto there straight round to there onto there and onto there okay click twice to go around right and this is where we've got all of our um little areas down here so we're actually doing this area here so we're actually going to go like that there like that there we're going to do our two sections there click for white towels again there so it doesn't really matter by the way if you haven't got a cleaning closet in this section here um straight away because um it is perfectly fine so please don't worry about doing that here we're actually then going to go with the same kind of walls we're then going to go with a purple like like a purpley style color and we're then going to whip these in like this okay and bring this round to here click twice so we can get this here sorted out I like to keep this quite um, of, of the very noticeable areas on this and yet again same kind of um, towel for the bathroom or the restroom and then just like this so that there is kind of done but there's actually a couple of things what we're needing to do 
we're needing to come in and get like a um, so it's almost like a lino style color and we're actually going to go with this first one here we're actually going to do this section here first these kind of here will be actually for our corridors so you can actually spot them from a mile off and then we go up up to our next color here which is our kind of like a bit of a darker blue area and almost like a purple um, area here and then we can then bring this round to here now for our waiting areas we're actually going to go with outward flooring so our outward flooring will be all the same type of flooring okay just like this and then for our reception area and doctor's area we're actually going to go with a basic lighter color okay just like this here as for the bathrooms okay we're going to go with this one here we've got a purple already highlighted come over to a blue put that into there come over to a lighter blue I'm actually going to do then the um, cleaning closet and also our first toilet area right that's fine so what we're now needing to do is is actually first of all with this x-ray room here we're actually just needing to pop back into the um, x-ray section here we're actually going to get our select wall copying okay which is this like um, ink dropper thing and we're actually going to just put a wall straight across like this inside of the x-ray room um, because we're wanting to keep that kind of separate from this area here because of the machine this is x-ray and then put this background here like so now our doors first of all let's start up in this section here so our doors are just going to go with white doors for the bathrooms so we can put in the bathroom doors right now uh, just like this here and like this here okay next we can do our x-ray doors so one there and one there because that keeps them safe next we're going to do our entrance into the actual building so keep in mind this area is going to be our own little reception area here and there's going to be seats around here with jinks and stuff our next one is is actually dealing with our doctor's rooms so what we're going to do here is we're only going to have one here uh, because we can copy and paste it over then a restricted door for the cleaning closet and also a restricted door for a blood testing unit there okay and next what we can do is then get a double glass door right and we can actually probably place like one there and one there and um, just to bring that that a bit more better into here um, like so so that's actually quite a very very simple basis for that and it is very simple and we're then also going to have um, if I just show you very quickly here with this here um, our pharmacy by the way what we're going to have because um, we do need to build that as quickly as actually as we can we're actually going to have a pharmacy area here this is going to be the desk area and this ear back here will be come our um, little if I can actually get this right today please thank you and then we're actually going to have our little pharmacy area up here as well so we, they can come in there get all this stuff back here is going to have all the pharmacy stuff here and etc so actually let's get that built in now and to be honest with you because we're wanting to make sure that we've got this kind of done and um, so we're going to get that there come in come down to um let's have a look here let's go with this light like, wood panel yeah because this is the pharmacy they're needing something a bit more more presentable okay and we then can come into the doors here 
Uh, we can then get the stadium doors. Um, this is the pharmacy area. And this is pretty much it here. Okay. So we kind of got that there sorted out. So what we're going to do now very quickly before we carry on, we're actually going to come into, we're going to click this money section down here. And we're actually going to whip up um let's say a hundred thousand straight away which I lowered on me and I just have a quick cup of uh quick sip of coffee there we go so we've actually got like a hundred thousand there it's a daily interest of a thousand but that's okay because we can get that money back quite quickly so what we're going to do First of all, we're actually going to come into here. We're going to make sure that we've got our emergency um, section here done. We're going to zoom into our doctor's area. So, how we do the doctor's area here, when we click up here to manage mode, it will highlight these up. You click the room and it brings everything up here that it's what you need. So, first of all, we're actually going to go with a, um, with a GP desk. So our doctor's desk, and we're actually going to place it there. We're then going to get an office chair, uh, which we are going to turn blue because this is the, the blue area. This is our um, general petition um, section. Next, what we're going to do then is our exam table. This is then going to go blue, and R is actually to rotate. So we're going to place this down here. We're actually going to place a printer on and we're then also going to then place a PC. So we're going to opt in for like a cheap style PC for now, which is perfectly fine. And then a couple of square tables, one there, one there. And then we've got an audio monitor that can go straight into there. And also the CRP scan um, to there. We then got a disinfectant um, unit here, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to do this here um, straight away, um, just to really make sure that we're kind of clean and that this um, this was actually quite interesting. This was because when they um, when we have the issue with the virus going around and everything else, um, I don't really want to state what virus that were because of um, certain things <laughs> as um, you would actually say and then we're actually going to then place this underneath the um, sink area here and next we're going to then get our biohazard being red here a medical light which will then go over the top so we can have this one here or this one here I prefer to have a medical light straight above and here this is going to be in line with the chair or the bench area for the eye test and then the clipboard area can come on to here next what we're going to do is we're going to go over to furniture and accessories because we're kind of a bit posh with this we're going to have a um, sofa placed in there and we're then going to then have a dressing screen um, we're actually going to go with um, that many and um, just to make sure that's all kind of like that like blocked off as best as possible and then we're going to have um, some bookshelves into where you don't have to do all this in general anyway but it's always nice just to have that um, extra little bit as they say um for it so i think there was at one moment on this game was a diploma because um, doctors have diplomas on the wall um so we have like a little section there and then over to our section here and we're actually going to grab a window we're actually going to go with a window with blinds on this Okay, and we're then just going to place that there because why not, eh? So that is our first initial GP's 
Office done. So how to copy this and paste it over, we need to come back up into our building mode, we need to come over to these prefabs which is these three squares, come down to the mark down here with three squares with a plus, we need to then copy so it turns red, move over to here and that then goes into there and you just click to paste. That there will make sure that all your GP officers are always going to be kind of like the same layout. Next what we're going to do now is we're actually going to come into here. We're actually going to be placing. I don't know if I will be able to do the four walls in here or not. I'm not too sure on that. Um, but we are just going to pretty much place one, one toilet into here with a mirror with a sink and an iron dryer and a bin. Here is our cleaning closet. So there's not much to really place in the cleaning closet but we're actually going to have here is two, four, five of them. Next we'll take this around. Okay and we're actually going to have five of them. Next, we're going to put a lab sink in so that you can fill up your mud buckets. We've got an hand cleaning station there, and we've then also got a bin there, and then also, just in case, as a decoration thing, a plastic amper. That is only what you really need in that section. So, our next section, um, before we carry on with that, I want to make sure that I've got this yeah sorted out because I want I want to show you what this um, layout is going to be so what we are going to do first of all we actually need to make sure that we've got some glass windows and before we actually carry on doing the um, other one so we actually got a glass wall watch window okay and we can actually put the desk here and it will be perfectly fine there here we're going to come back onto here again so we've actually got our x-ray unit here okay this x-ray here is actually like uh, 10,000 in game dollars so it's very very expensive x-ray control because it's a, a x-ray room we need to make sure that the person is safe so here and that is sticking with the blue and that because this is a blue area anyway Okay, and we put that to there. X ray X ray viewer is here. Next we're going to have a PC and that there is pretty much it for this room. Very, very, very simple. Next is going to be our tall area and again and we don't have enough room here to do the full length with walls and have separate toilets but to be honest with you just having one toilet like that would be perfectly fine for this area here but what we are going to do is let's just sort out this um, uh, waiting area here so we're actually going to place on there three screens a queue machine so when they come in and uh, they can get the ticket to wait Next, we are going to have um, some seats. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And then one, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to bring in our coffee machine, which is going to sit. Um, yeah, that's going to sit there. Our fender machine is going to sit out there let's just move these chairs over a little bit like this here move this over move this over put this to there this to there and then we've then got a water dispenser as well um, so let's go in and delete one of these chairs here we're going to rotate this around here and that's pretty much it. That is the waiting area for that there. So our next job is our um, section here. 
So what we're going to do is here, we're going to rotate this round. We will also have the other reception area and the waiting area very shortly. But we do need to click into here. Here, what we're going to have is we're going to have one, two, three, four. And then we're then going to have this here. Next, we need to make sure that we've got our sample fridges. So one, two, and three. Next, we need to make sure that we've got our um, little cabinet areas like the same earring. Next, we need to make sure that we then have all of our um, little sections here with a printer for the reports to be printed out, a couple of PCs, a couple of seats, so then we can maximize on that. Next, we're going to add in our thermal section. Next is our um, herbatology area. Next, it's our glassware. Then it's a bin. And then here, just down here, we've actually got a sink area here as well. And that there will be perfectly fine as is. Here next is actually going to be our small um, reset our uh, waiting area. So again, rotate this around three screens up. We only need him to have one of these in, um, but we could actually do two like that if we wanted to. Yeah, we're going to have one, two, three, then one, two, and three. Yeah, we're actually going to keep this blue. And we're going to place this here. And then we're going to have this here as well. What we are going to do is we're actually going to actually move this over to here because this is only like a small area anyway. Um, so we don't really need too much for this because we don't really get that many people initially for this. And we then just took a water area there. Same thing with this area here now. So we're going to come back down right to the emergency area. We're going to grab a TV and we're then going to go a one, two, and three next door to each other. One, two, and three next door to each other. Here we're actually going to have is one, two, there. Yeah, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six for now. Um, actually, no, let's just do you there actually because we're wanting to keep that kind of closed off. Okay, and then this here is going to be our, um, our waiting area for this. You can place in here some um, little bits in and that if you really wanting to um, such as um, flowers and stuff like that or plants you can easily do that that's perfectly fine so our, our reception area here okay this is going to be kind of fun this is and we actually missed the wall there for some reason I don't know why oh no uh, so let's just put that one into there. There we go. Next, we've got this here. So we're going to have a counter drop off area. So we're going to go one, two. Here is for the five. So these still work um, perfectly fine, as is, by the way. Um, so please don't worry about that. And then we're going to then get our right turning here and then we're then going to then go with a counter um, advice there here we're going to go one two and three with one two and three computers next we're going to come with some chairs okay and we are going to then place our chairs one two three four Four, turn there, couple there, 
and then here we actually then place one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, and this is then going to be like the reception area. What we can do is actually let's just grab um, a plant. Let's see, a plant. Thank you. Um, just right there. Okay, and this is now everything all set up. So besides this here, so actually let's uh, whip through this this section here. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to come into here, click this. We're going to rotate this amount, and we're actually going to place him straight away. Um, some of these in. These here is where the pharmacy people are going to get. So we do need a pharmacy desk. This is where your staff will go and get the medication for patients. Patients will not be able to go back here and get this. But we do have, however, some of these here. So we're actually going to be placing just a couple of these in. Uh, let's do a big one here and let's do a, one of these in. And then next is actually some chairs um, there. So we're just going to keep this red um, for now. And this is pretty much everything what we're needing to kind of do. And we're going to just place four like this here and four like this here. Okay, and that is pretty much it there. So, how do we deal with the staff? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that we've actually got some computers down here, like so. So, how about you do we deal with staff? So you come back into your top area, you go into your uh, management mode, click down here what what department you want in. So right now we've got emergency. So here, we're going to click on one of these here, and this is actually the reception. So what the receptionist does is actually do some patient care. So they're going to do the triage. So what the triage section will do on this is that the patient care and the receptionist will do all also, also the first stages of everything what we need in. So we're going to hire Jennifer Johnson, okay, as our first reception person. Here we've got our cleaners. So here efficiency and um, dexterity. So how quick they go is actually quite I also me a quite eye on this person here. So we're going to get Jennifer Kim. Now our next section is actually the doctors. So on here, you're going to have general medicine, acute medicine, diagnosis, and also advanced diagnosis. So Mary Collier is 70, but she's actually quite good. But this one here, who is a esthetiology, okay, so they deal with surgery, as well as diagnosis, acute medicine, and also the general medicine. He's actually quite good, this John Call is, but he's 67. So you more of your older people are going to be initially the more better people on this. Now, if you're not too happy with all this, we can come up here to IA agency. So our IA agency will then find us some new people. So here, we're actually going to go with this one here, because set it for your 97, and Brooke White, you will be hired in. So our next area is actually our surgery team. Sorry, our x-ray team. Our x-ray team, here yeah, for the day. So, so just to let you know, if the daytime is left, nighttime is right, okay? And you will see, like, if you like moon and the star, um, kind of thing going on there with this here. So daytime, nighttime. Here we're needing a lot of the decent radiology. Okay, 
So we're going to find a new person. Let's find some more. 39, 43. Let's get you in. Next, we're going to come over to this section here. This is for our blood test people. So our blood test people here, so our, our biochemistry. So this is what this is. This is all your biochemistry. Thankfully, this person here can use a USG um, for a bit later down the line. So what we are going to do here, okay, we're actually going to get this um, Dana Barkley. She's got 70% here. And then we're going to have that person there. And we're actually going to add one more person in. So our one more person here, out of this here, it's actually going to be for your fans, bio, biochemistry, zero percent, but they have got a biochemistry here. And we're actually going to add that person as well. Okay, and that there is pretty much everything what we needing to do to make sure that all this here is really, really nicely sorted. But there's one problem, we haven't done the flooring in these sections here. So what we are going to do here, we're actually going to come into here, come into here. We're actually going to come to here, we're going to select this, we're going to pump you down to there, pump you down to there, and then here for this one, we're actually going to put you into there. Okay, and that is now perfectly done. So let's get the um, game playing. Right, we've actually got 10 times speed. Everybody's all in. We've got a few doctors in. And we're needing to cure our first patient of the day. So when we get that done, right, we will then be able to then start getting insurance payments coming through. So it will take a bit of time. Okay, so they'll open at 8 and close at 6. And we do actually make some money and now we've actually done our first one so we've actually now can add on on here which is then then treat uh three there we go <laughs> there we go so we've actually got um a lot of money there then um because we did like a couple in one go there so we're actually going to put this up to here right because we should be able to get that sorted out so now that we've actually got some money we can now get this paid back straight away you see um and so we're back down right it's about thirty five thousand. that is perfectly fine that is perfectly acceptable so we now got this going through we now need him to treat 10 patients it's coming up to now around about half past one two o'clock and that in game we're probably not going to reach for full 10 on this first day but we may reach it in our second day if that is then the case that is perfectly acceptable and perfectly fine so how how do we try now and work out um did i not do that toilet there yeah i didn't do that toilet um okay i should have done that uh oops um <laughs> i missed the toilet um so yeah so we've got this here right this cleaner will only work around here so we do need to get these cleaners around here somehow uh we have actually got our pharmacist did i actually get a pharmacist no i didn't let's get a pharmacy member staff in so we're actually going to go with this person here it doesn't really matter about these ones here to be honest with you but but we do need a pharmacist in so how do we now get around the fact of expanding the hospital around this this area around so when we actually planned out all these here we actually planned for the corridor to come down and also all the doctors and etc but we can easily do that so we're actually going to be doing that in our next episode so this might look really kind of a bit bizarre like right, it's at least very sprawled out but don't forget this has actually got all the necessary corridors coming off from each area now don't forget right this corridor here will be attached to this one here 
okay from our from a doctor's area here this here is actually for this section here so we will or is this actually uh yeah i think this is actually for in this section here and um, i can't i can't fully remember um but all this here will be coming around here and actually attached to here so they can easily come out come down here get the blood blood works done and rip around here to down here and that if they're needing to so it will it's a lot more better flow than what you will actually think but it's actually really 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 simple so till the next time guys um i will see you in the next episode um uh, because this one has actually probably gone on for a while i don't know how long it's actually been recording for um but until next time everyone um this is the wolf and yet again thank you so much for that for your beautiful support and yet again if you're not subscribed please do subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you can then be notified when we upload my new video and until then everyone it's a child child for now and we'll see you all later uh, bye hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do